Hey, look at this. He's one of the ones that uh, the wife let go the other day because she was too guilty about liking eating the rabbits. And uh, to tell you the truth, I let one or two go too because I like not feeding them. They're getting pretty fat running around the house. I throw a little bit of feed out, but uh, they mostly just stay around the fence. And uh, hopefully they'll breed on their own, all natural like. But if not, you know, I like looking at them. Okay, so what we we're doing now, or what we were coming here for, that's where I put my solar dehydrator. It's on the corner of the house uh, because I don't have a lot of flat areas in, in the property. And most of what I got is pretty shaded. And right there is the most out of the way and uh, the sunniest spot that I've got. So let's go up and look at it. So like on that other video I did where we were working on it, basically it's just a big old box that I, uh, I built on a base. And I've got this... Uh, folding sun collecting trough that uh, was going to be glass out of a screen door that I had salvaged, but it was tempered, and when I tried to uh, cut it, I didn't know you can't cut tempered glass and it shed it all over the place. So that's just a piece of plexiglass, and it messed up my um, measurements a little bit, but that's okay. We improvised and adapted. So what I've done since last time is obviously mount the glass, cut some holes down for, for ventilation, um, and put some screen. I also built one sliding tray, which did not work very well for me at all. I'm going to have uh, to try to make another one or uh, find something to buy. And it's just basically two pieces of molding some screen and some uh, piece of one by two and uh, it just fits on there and I put the food I'm not really happy with it um, I really don't like that screen there wasn't a whole lot of different screen I could use that's aluminum which means I don't want to use it for uh, high acid foods like dehydrated tomatoes I'm thinking about getting a metal ex uh, extruded uh, mesh, but that'll be kind of expensive. Each piece is like 22 bucks, so looking at about $150. But anyway, I'm going to uh, solve that problem, come back, and uh, we'll show you how we dehydrate stuff uh, a little later. All right, so it's about 9 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I've got us some frozen vegetables. Just gonna Put them on my screen. Spread them out in a nice little thin layer. And don't get a whole lot of sun. This is the sunny spot I got. And we'll just leave it and I'll come back in a, in a couple of hours. Alright, here's the uh, vegetables after they've been sitting out a little while. You can tell they've dehydrated. Um, problem is I don't have enough airflow it's significantly hotter inside the dehydrator than it is outdoors but I don't have enough airflow to get rid of the moisture so it's a little more humid in there but it does work it does work it just at this point it doesn't work as good as my dehydrator that plugs up into the wall but uh, I guess that's to be expected so I'm gonna have to tinker a little bit but I'm gonna consider this thing is working thanks